Hey guys, this is Port Spice Jamie and Little Tallulah, and I'm here to do a design team project for the Not Too Shabby Shop. We are using the September box. Yay! So here you can see the products that I've used. I used the stencil. Now I did have a video showing how to use the stencil, but something happened to it. So here's the lovely fall paper that I used from the kit. I used both stamp sets. How cute is that? I love that scene. Adorable. And of course, this one. And I love it. So as you have noticed, the color scheme is like some blues, grays, and so forth. So I went with it. Here I took a 6x6 six six card base. I cut down one of the Not Too Shabby Shop pages from the Lovely Fall. And then I did some coloring of some of the images. So the paper I cut down to 5.5 by 5.5 so there would be a basic white border around it. Then I also used the stencil. So previously I took a card base and I used some Nouveau Glitter Paste and I used a really thick um, application through that stencil that you saw at the beginning of the video. And I put that through the stencil and I let it dry. So now since it's on a heavier card base, as well as it is that thick paste, I'm putting tape down to help it adhere to the slicker glossy paper at the bottom, as well as to give it some extra support. I'm adding the glue so that you have a little bit of wiggle room and it'll give some more um, tact so that it will stick to the whole thing since it's a heavier piece. So I'm just going to glue that down in the center and you can see that glitter paste. I'm going inside and I'm rubbing it down because it is a thick paper so this way it adheres well. I took another piece of the Not Too Shabby Shop paper from that lovely fall kit, cut it down to three and a half by four and a half and I stuck it on the inside as the inside mat. Now we're gonna do a little something different. These are all pieces from the stamp set. So I went ahead and colored them with my Ahoo-Hoo's, my Aspires, and some Arctic's markers, and then I fussy cut them. And what we're gonna do is create a paper doll instead of just using them as single images. So here I'm taking two of the vests that I colored. And since this is a raised background, we're doing the same thing. We're adding tape as well as glue so that it will stick quickly, but then also have time to set up. So now I'm just overlaying two of the vests so that it creates like one type of dress in the center. I'm going to lift it up just a little bit along the edges so that I can get the, the other pieces behind it. So lovely pumpkins, and I just continue that blue and purple theme. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> I wanted the head to stick up a little bit because it's going to be forward, so I put some foam pads beneath it. I also took from the stamp set that stamp with the four logs, and I colored those, and then I cut them in half. So I did it twice, and those become the arms. How fun is that, right? <laughs> I love it. So then we're going to do the same thing with the other side to just try to figure out where we want to place those underneath. And once again, I used glue and tape so that it would stick to the card base. Since it's dimensional and glitter. <laughs> Now it's a little hard to see, but it is glitter paste. Um, it just happens to be one of very dark blue. So the glitter is hard to see on camera, but it's so cute. I love it. All right, now we have to decide what she's gonna hold. So I will end up going with the little frappe latte kind of thing. And I put it on foam tape as well so that it would stick up in front of everything else. I took that I'm a fall kind of girl, which I thought was hilarious given that there's the pumpkin. And we made the little girl pumpkin head. <laughs> I used my circle punch. And I cut it twice. And then just overlaid it as you see there. And in this, um, in this project, I used Spectrum Noir Quick Dry Ink. 
So we're going to pop it up on some foam pads as well to give it more dimension. It's so sad. So sad. You want to put as much dimension as possible, but we have to be able to mail it. <laughs> So I did the same thing on the inside. This time I did not put foam pads. We just went ahead and glued it down and it says, welcome fall. So then I wanted to decide like, what are we gonna do here? I wanted to add a few more things. So I took one of the flowers and I popped it on the foam tape and then I added a second one. So then we have our cute little scene. It's so cute. I love this paper pad and die set. So definitely check it out. Go get your items. Shop, shop, shop till your heart's content. Thanks for watching you guys and go check out the other members of the design team. See you guys later. Bye.